guys you welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to prepare edi taiwa edi taiwa is prepared with cassava fresh cassava the ibos call it abacha so in this video i'm going to show you how you can use fresh cassava and produce this delicious edi taiwa edi taiwa can be eaten with fish it can be eaten with granuts it can as well be eaten with coconut but in my place we rather choose to eat it with fish because it gives a very nice taste and this is a good combination keep watching as i'm going to show you the fresh cassava that i'm going to use to produce this edi taiwa this is fresh cassava this is what i'm going to use to prepare edi taiwa Edi taiwa is very good and nourishing and so I'm going to make use of this fresh cassava and show you how you can prepare edi taiwa at home. First thing you need to do is to peel this cassava and then wash it properly and boil it. After washing it properly like this, you need to transfer it into a pot and then boil it. We are going to put the ones that are bigger at the bottom of the pot and then put other ones accordingly. You need to add some water. The cassava is cooking very well, so we are going to allow it to continue cooking until it is soft. The cassava has cooked well, so I'm going to turn it out from the water. After turning it out from the water, you're going to allow it to cool before we slice it. We're going to cut this into two. You have to remove this and then slice it. This is how we slice Edi Taiwa in my place. And if you are slicing this, you have to be careful in case you are using a very sharp knife. After slicing everything nicely, I'm going to add water. After adding water, you have to soak it for one day before washing it out. This is the Edi Taiwa that we cooked and sliced yesterday. So it is time to wash it out. So I'm going to wash it out from this water and then wash it three to four times so that it will be very clean and the slimy will not be there. After removing it from the water, you need to wash it very, very well. And remember, you must wash it with two hands. After washing it thoroughly, you can see how it is. You can see the little slime coming out of it. You need to add clean water and wash it out. Mm -hmm. 
my cassava is ready so i'm adding water you keep it with the water like this whenever you want to eat it you eat it so i'm going to save i'm going to show you how we used to eat this editaiwa yes this is how we normally eat editaiwa in my place for no reason must you save editaiwa to your family ordinarily it must always go with fish granuts or coconuts you can see this fish i have sourced this fish properly and steam it so it is good to go this is a very delicious food i remember those days when i was in the village whenever we are going to farm my mom must always go to the farm with edi taiwa and fish so that we the children will agree to follow and whenever she goes to the farm with edi taiwa and fish all of us must join her you can prepare this food at home for your family it's so interesting and delicious in case you don't have fish the substitutes for this fish is granite or coconut if you love this video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel also share this video with your family and friends see you in my next video bye